Let's talk youth sports for a second. Uh, youth sports got plenty of benefits. As a matter of fact, studies show that kids who participate in a sport are more confident, build stronger peer relationships, and they even get better grades. But with all of the benefits, there are also some negatives, like the risk of injury. Yeah. Delmarva Life Sean Stryker made the trip up to AI DuPont Hospital for Children to find out some of the most common types of sports injuries, what's causing them, and how new technology can help get an athlete back on the field. A high school athlete's senior year is very special. For some, it's the last time they'll ever play at a competitive level. For others, like Brennan Weber, it's a last hurrah before moving on to play in college. Or at least, it was supposed to be. First game of my senior year, uh, I was playing out at wideout and I catch a little bubble screen and I was running up the field. I try and make a cut back to the inside and the defender takes out my knee. I knew exactly what was wrong. I was on the ground. I chucked my helmet over to the sideline. I just knew my season was done. Brennan tore his ACL, MCL, and meniscus, injuries that some say are becoming all too common amongst young athletes. Most of the common sports injuries that I particularly deal with are knee injuries. We see a lot of ACL injuries, meniscal tears, uh, cartilage problems in the knee. Hey, Brennan, how hey, you doing? Tom, I'm good. Dr. Alfred Atanda is an orthopedic surgeon at AI DuPont. He specializes in sports-related injuries and says with the thought of college scholarships or high-paying professional contracts dancing in both parents' and players' heads, seasonal sports are turning into year-round competition. There's kind of a misconception that if you want to be a collegiate athlete or a professional athlete someday, that you have to specialize and play the same sport 365 days out of the year. So with technology and like indoor you know, soccer centers and baseball centers, kids can play during the winter, they can play during the spring and the summer, and they're really focusing on one thing and kind of overusing certain ligaments and muscles to do so. So in turn, what's supposed to be helping a young athlete could in fact be hurting them. We try to tell people not to play sports more than eight months out of the year, try to take four months off from their sport. And for those kids that insist on playing sports year round, we just tell them to switch it up and play a different sports for those last four months. Even with the proper precautions, Dr. Tonda cautions injuries can still happen, with soccer being the biggest threat. So it's definitely a common sport. All little kids at some point in their lives have played soccer, but also just the nature of the stopping and going and cutting and pivoting, the jumping to head the ball. There's just a lot of different potential issues with that sport. A lot of the more serious injuries have to do with concussions or head injuries. We see a lot of ACL or anterior cruciate ligament injuries in the knee. We see a lot of ankle sprains and strains. Other sports like baseball can also be damaging. It's actually unfortunately increasing. We're seeing a lot of overuse injuries in our pitchers. Mostly and uh, our older pitchers are getting issues with their ulnar collateral ligament or what needs to be repaired when people have Tommy John surgery. Um, the younger guys are usually having more growth plate issues. They're not really tearing ligaments per se, but there are a lot more kids that are pitching more months out of the year and sustaining these injuries. And of course, like in Brennan's case, there's football. Football players, we get a lot of contact injuries or where guys are rolling into each other's knees or hitting each other in, in the knees with their helmet, let's say. But also there can be injuries with non-contact. So a guy could just be running and changing direction and try to stop on a dime and his knee goes one way and his body goes the other way. For many of these athletes, the drive to compete doesn't fade once injured. Just ask Brennan. I hope to play in college, definitely. I've just always wanted to play football, so any kind of football that I can get, I'm willing to do. But in order to accomplish this goal, he must first get better. So he and his family turn to Dr. Atanda and A.I. DuPont for help. I mean, with current technology and ACL injuries, more of just like a career-altering injury, not, really, like not a career-ending injury. But in the past, I mean, you know, these people would have these serious injuries. We wouldn't have real good ways to fix their knees and fix their ligaments and get them back on the field. But now we can get people pretty much back as strong as they used to be. We're doing it a little bit more minimally invasive. So in the old days, the incision was pretty big. Uh, we'd make a big open incision in the knee, look at the ligaments and do everything that way. But now we do it arthroscopically. So we use very small holes and we use a camera uh, to visualize what we're doing through very small portals. Even with all of the advancements, it still takes time to heal. Dr. Tonda says about eight 
to nine months of extensive rehabilitation is necessary to get back into the game. What the, the kids and their parents don't realize is that even though they start to feel really good at around two or three months after surgery, it takes a long time for the graft that we put in to fully incorporate into the knee. Some of our research studies show that it can take up to 18 months for it to fully incorporate, but we feel at around nine or 10 months that it's strong enough for them to get back to sports. Although it may sound like a lot of time, it's a small price to pay for a life time worth of competition. If you're going to play sports and you're going to be out on the field, you're going to be susceptible to these injuries. But the big thing is really wrapping your head around the mental challenge of the rehabilitation process, giving your body time to heal itself, being patient and waiting to get back onto the field because you have a long career of sports ahead of you. If you take about nine months or 12 months out, I know it seems like a big deal at the time, but over the span of your career, it's actually pretty important. Dr. Atanda says it's very important for athletes to pay attention to their bodies. If you're having pain, tell someone before it becomes a serious problem. He's even working on a research study with young, healthy baseball pitchers between the ages of 12 and 18. In that study, they take ultrasounds of the pitcher's arms and look for changes to ligaments before the pitchers experience any pain. That way, if they discover something is wrong, they can work to fix it. And if you want to learn how your child could become part of the study, visit WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page.